Hi, this is Eric and Michelle. And this week, we want to show you uh, one of the lesson plans that we want to focus on uh, with the third through fifth grade uh, students. And that's going to be focusing on angles and basic geometry. Michelle, do you want to show folks how to get in uh, to the IXL lesson plans focusing on angles? Absolutely. So first, we're going to make sure we're logged in as our um, under our tutor page. Um, then we're going to come up here to the top left next to IXL, and we're simply just going to type in angles. And we want to click on the first one for level E. We want to just click on that. And level E aligns with third grade level. Correct? Yes, level E aligns with third grade. And so um, you'll get this practice, this angle um, practice area here. You, and if your student doesn't understand once you uh, read the question to them, you can simply just have your student click on learn with an example. And then you'll just go through the example with them. The question, here's the key idea and the solution. But what you can also do is give them a further breakdown so they can visually see the types of angles this will probably be a huge um, help for them if they see it. And then as you're reading it to them, you can kind of just go through it. And I'll just scroll down a bit so you can see all the different angles that they're gonna, you can go through with your students. And then I see on the right, there's related lesson plans that they can dive further into. Yes. Cool. And, you, uh, and all you have to do is just simply, you can just click on any one of them to work with your student on. And then once you've gone through the lesson plan, um, they can go and begin working on problems. Exactly. And then you could just go, you'll just go back and then you can just type angles again, clicking on the first one, which is level E. And here's your practice here. Oh, that's great. And then you just go through a series. The system will continue to give you a series of uh, angle related problems from this area. And then just as a reminder, they can do a similar type of search for any subject matter area, correct? Any subject. So just, for example, multiplication tables. Mm -hmm. You could just go up here to the top again and you just type in multiplication. And also we wanna check for the lowest levels. So we wanna see level E, you just click on level E. You get another problem to pop up. You can learn with an example. So the same process, yeah. question, solution, go back to practice. Now, before you click go back to practice, normally you wanna ask them if they understand. That way you don't just go back to the problem and they're kind of stumped. You wanna ask them and make sure they understand and then learn with the, an example. Great. If they still don't understand, you can break out a whiteboard and break it, break down the problem for them. Perfect. Well, great. Well, um, this week and uh, over the next couple of weeks, we'll be working with angles and basic geometry. Thanks for showing us that, Michelle. Thank you.